Hi, I'm Jainy, and today we're going to be talking about Judy, J-Lo, and Joker. Uh, three hotly contested movies that people Tell us just... Bad Baby. Mention Bad Baby. And... Okay, so Bad... Okay. But Bad Baby doesn't start with a J. Hi, my name's Jainy, and we're going to be talking about Joker, Judy, J-Lo, and Bad Baby today. The car, the car, slow down. Stop. There's wind. That's cinema. That's cinema. Right now. No, we've got to shoot right now. Right now. We've got the wind. Um, King Princess. Hi, my name's Jack Jen Atherton. Some, you can call me Jiny. Sorry, let me start again. Um, hi, my name's Jack Jen. Sorry. King Princess. Hi, my name's Jack Jen Atherton, but you... So, Soir, we're doing a first take on a film that you might have heard of. It's called Joker. It's based on this comic book that came out in the 80s. And we're also talking about Hustlers, which is J-Lo's... Oscar film? Joker is a film that's the origin story of Joker, but that's made up by the guy who directed the Hangover movies. And Hustlers is the story of Cat Stratford from 10 Things I Hate About You growing up, moving out, becoming a writer, writing an article about strippers in New York, and then getting that article turned into Hustlers, which is a film starring J.Lo. Oh my gosh, and the Oscar goes to... I like your King Princess look. I like your King Princess look. Okay, so your team Joker, would you like to start off by talking about the Joker and defendant up to the stand? I just thought it was funny and chill. I want to know what coded messaging's in there for all the like Harry Potter like incels out there. What specifically about the Joker were you into? Because there are so many specific things that I didn't like. And... Okay, look, it's not my favorite movie and it's not perfect and I don't like 70s nostalgia at all, mm. but I did think that it was unsubtle and like audacious and I really liked the ending. So everyone has negative thoughts. Everyone has Schadenfreude and laughs at people's misfortunes. And it's what like healthy to process that. Schadenfreude. It it sounds hot. It's not there because then it just internalizes okay, and it comes I out in the you. culture. As social commentary, I thought it was uh, evil, toxic garbage because yeah. the story is essentially the story of Bad Baby. I mean, we have someone who's <laughs> exploited and humiliated on air on a live TV show. Catch me outside. How about that? Obviously, got in a town that no one wants to tap into. They come from a disadvantaged background. Suddenly, they find an escape route, which is, you know, performance, uh, putting on makeup. In Bad Baby's case, it's becoming a white rapper. In Joker's case, it's becoming an evil, narcissistic uh, serial killer. When I was a little boy and told people I was going to be a comedian, everyone laughed at me. Well, no one's laughing now. You can say that again, pal. But in Bad Baby's case, she creates art out of her humiliation and public shaming. Whereas Joker just becomes this, you know, serial mass murderer who shoots Robert De Niro, who I love, on a talk show. Yeah, but Joker is obviously me, a villain. I know, but that to me teaches a really weird lesson about how we treat people who are disadvantaged, have mental illness, and also a fuck by... The what do you mean teaches a weird lesson? I think it makes people feel seen. I reckon Bad Baby's probably into Joker. Do you think I responded negatively to Joker because I look like Joaquin Phoenix and I don't want him to turn to an evil man? Maybe that's why I love the Joker so much, because uh, like Joaquin me. Phoenix and you were so similar. We have the same balding, we have the same chiseled jaw, and dare I say, we both have weird bodies. Joker is inspired by Batman the Killing Joke, in 1988 comic book, which I just read last night, and is not inspired by Heath Ledger, who, <sighs> rest in peace, is by far the most exquisite performance of Joker. Did it not like frustrate you that this was such a made up version of Joker that isn't rooted in anything that's been written before. It was completely from scratch. I don't read Batman comics. I don't give a f At what point is a conversation starter sending a horrible, setting up a bad example for a conversation? Well, you, could say, you could argue that Donald Trump is a conversation starter, but I wouldn't say a positive one. Okay, comparing Donald Trump and the Joker is so stupid. I know, and it's so SJW, which is what I am, I think. I think I'm just an SJW, Jack. <laughs> we're both SJWs, and you know what? Proud SJWs. The great thing about SJWs is that what we're asking for doesn't cost anything! Mm, yeah. truly, truly, just have truly. some more empathy, and that includes to men who feel ostracized for society. Well, let's talk about the other film that's got all the SJWs hot and fired up, which is Hustlers. Oh, Hustlers. Which is a film about sex work in Hollywood, which, let's just start by saying, does a lot of good things, okay? You often don't see sex work as being the main topic in a Hollywood film and having so much money thrown behind a story about purely sex workers. I mean, Hustlers is just about the people who work in a strip club. The last time I saw a stripper on screen, actually, was Toni Collette in Hey Hey, It's Esther Blueburger, and Keisha Castle Hughes is her daughter and comes in and is, like, so horrified, and they end up killing Toni Collette's character. Mm. The director, Lorraine Scafaria, did a lot of research before going into production. She met with sex workers, she met with strippers, she went to a lot of strip clubs to just kind of 
yeah. learn their environment and learn what they wear. She had Jack the Stripper, who is a, a stripper slash comedian, be a comfort consultant, so the person who kind of comes on set and, you know, zhuzhs it up a little bit. And also the world's most famous former sex workers uh, in acting, Cardi B and Tracel Z. Yeah. I know, but that scene was just such an Instagram moment. Like, I feel like they shot that scene in three days and then they just kind of used it to tack on the end to make you feel good about, like, such a toxic story about stripping culture. Mm. Really, the message at the end of Hustlers is uh, when stripping's good, it's really good. You know what I mean? And, and when stripping's bad, it's Hustlers. Andre, it's are we just being apologists? Do you remember going to John Waters the other night and he was apologising for Johnny Depp and how that felt? Well, of course Johnny Depp was in it and... I talk to me, he seems fine to me. When I'm in his new um, Hollywood vampire album, I talk about gays for guns in it. He seems fine. Cancel Johnny Depp! Like, I'm just thinking about anyone watching us apologize for Joker and Hustlers that feel so. Like, they object to those movies so much, and I just feel like I don't want to be an apologist anymore. No, neither. I want to be Ellen DeGeneres. It's not nice. God. <laughs> As a sex worker, and also someone who works in the mental health industry, I don't care. Shut up. I think what people should be talking about was when this movie was being filmed, the club got shut down, the girls had to audition to be in the movie, and those who didn't make the cut didn't get paid. Go see Judy. Only see it once. Renee is really good. That, I think that is like a really interesting representation of mental health and of trauma, and if we're going to talk about this, I think that's a really important movie to see. Somewhere. The person, the person, the person. Oh, that's funny. Somewhere over the rainbow, bluebirds pie. We gotta pause. We gotta pause. Oh, we gotta pause. We gotta pause. Um, no, 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 no. We're doing that's where Where clang 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 clang